Hey guys, Leanne here on Grady's Mom. I just got back from Trader Joe's and wanted to share everything I purchased. This will pretty much get me through next week. Because I went to BJ's last week, this is pretty much all I will need um, to get me through. I'll just probably have to go to like Walmart and grab like bread and cold cuts. Um, other than that, pretty much everything else I will use from Trader Joe's this week. So this haul was $90. And I got some vegetable fried rice, which I get every time I go. I actually got two of these. So the other one is right here. I got another of my favorite um, frozen uh, dinner. It's the mandarin orange chicken. I believe this is like their best selling item. I actually already have one of these still in my deep freezer, but I picked up another. I like to have at least one of these and one of the rices in my freezer for a quick meal. So again, got two rice, one chicken. I grabbed this um, Hatch Chili Mac and Cheese um, as like a quick lunch option for when I'm home um, just because it's summer and we are home a lot more um, sometimes during lunch so I grabbed that. I got my favorite green beans from there. These are the really really skinny green beans. They are the best, some of the best I've ever tried frozen wise so I grabbed these. They'll last a good long while for side dishes. I grabbed another of the lightly salted edamame, which I love. I actually like making this a lot as a little side to the orange chicken. I grabbed another garlic fry. I love making these in my air fryer with burgers. Those are super good. And then these I got for the first time last Trader Joe's trip. They are the Thai sweet chili veggie burgers. They're absolutely delicious. Now you guys who have been following me for a while, you know I'm not a vegetarian, but I do love all things veggie. So these I can highly recommend for both people who are vegetarian or not, just for something different. Um, they really, really are good. They have a really good flavor and I got two boxes of them. I got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs to throw in the freezer for some white chicken chili that I'm gonna make next week in the crock pot. I got a small little ciabatta um, baguette. I actually like to throw this whole thing right in the oven and crisp it up and then cut it into pieces as like a side dish with pasta. I grabbed this pepperoni pizza mac and cheese bowl again for like a simple quick lunch uh, when I'm kind of having a hectic day or just need something really fast to heat up. These I absolutely love. My friend Madison over at Lattes and Lipstick got me onto these. I actually already opened the bag and ate some on the way home. It's the soft and juicy mango. I know a lot of people have mentioned they have the chili mango. I don't, I, I haven't seen them in my Trader Joe's. Um, when I do, or if I do, I will pick them up. But for now, I got the regular soft and juicy mango. They're delicious. I got some bananas, a red pepper for grilling. Matt really liked these vanilla almond granola bars, so I got another box. And then I also grabbed the nutty chocolate granola bars as well, because I think he'll really like those. I got these um, like Gogurt, Trader Joe's Gogurt Squisher yogurt sticks for Grady. This one is for cherry and for berry. I got these gorgeous hydrangeas. Um, this vase, or I guess it's a vase jar or jug, I actually got at Home Goods last night. Um, it was like $8. I couldn't pass it up. It's a really nice size. And I got these beautiful flowers again at Trader Joe's. I think they were like $6.50. They were a little bit pricey, but hydrangeas are not cheap by nature. So I think they look really pretty. I got some Moscato. I actually wanted to get the peach Moscato, but they didn't have it. So I got the regular Moscato. The brand is Villa Elena. Brittany over at Brittany and Baby got me on this, um, but the peach one. So I'll have to let you guys know how the regular one is. I got two of these tall skinny waters for my Keurig for coffee. I got some snow peas. I love to grill these or pan fry them in a little olive oil. They're super good. They're also really good raw, like dipped in hummus or ranch. I got some of these pretzel chip, everything flavored uh, little pretzel chips. I got some mozzarella cheese because we're going to do some non pizzas on the grill probably next week. I got a big bag of these multicolor um, carrots. I like to make glazed carrots or throw them on salads. And again, these are the multicolor. So there's purple, yellow, and orange. Good price on these as well. I got another jar of pesto. We go through a lot of pesto here. I use it as a condiment. I use it on pizza. I use it in pasta. It's really, really good. I got a black bean and a white kidney bean. Got some strawberries. They looked really, really yummy. And I got a couple greeting cards. All their cards I've mentioned before are a dollar and they are really, really cute. 
really high quality cards. So I got a blank one for a friend and then a happy birthday one for a friend as well who has a birthday coming up in a couple weeks. So again, guys, this is everything I got. It was $90 and I will share with you my meal plan for next week. Okay guys, so meal plan for the upcoming week. One night I'm going to do the white chicken chili in the crock pot with some cornbread. I will link the recipe down below for this dish. It's really, really good year round. I'm going to do the Trader Joe's orange chicken one night with the Trader Joe's fried rice and then the Trader Joe's green beans. So that's a very easy, like semi-homemade meal. I'm going to do some blackened shrimp. I actually have some shrimp that I have frozen. We'll just blacken it on the grill, season it up with some Cajun seasoning. We have some asparagus to use up from BJ, so we'll throw that on the grill as well and then I'll make one of those Near East rice pilafs. One night I'm going to do breakfast for dinner because I have some frozen like mini little blueberries that I need to use up. I have just enough to make some pancakes. So I'll do blueberry pancakes, I'll do some bacon, and then some hash brown patties as well. We're going to do the non-pesto pizza on the grill too. I just do pesto with cheese and fresh tomatoes that we grow. I'll do salad and we'll also grill up some of the grilled, um, some chicken wings on the grill as well. I am also actually I have a video for this too guys so I will link the video for both the pesto non pizza and the chicken wings I'll link this down below one night we're gonna do burgers and hot dogs on the grill some garlic fries again these are from Trader Joe's we do them in the air fryer and then some pasta salad with the um, burgers dogs and fries and then lastly I'm gonna do some pork sauce which is super easy. It's a crock pot recipe and I will link that video down below as well over some kind of pasta, probably some penne pasta. I'll make a tossed salad and then I will put that Trader Joe's, um, that crusty Italian bread in the oven just to heat it up and crisp it up. So really easy but delicious meal plan for the week. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'll link everything down below as well as the information for this planner. I have a discount code. Hope you guys have a great day and I will see you very soon. Bye guys.